ask Tom on home show. Alinda from Timberwood Park, Texas, has a question about gable vents. Well, it's as you can see in this photo, Tom, hers have kind of an odd placement, the gable vents. And this picture doesn't really do it justice, but she explains it clearly in her letters. Alinda writes to us on the left front, one is on the left front, one's on the left side toward the back, and one is on the left rear, and the other one's on the right front. So in other words, it doesn't sound like that they're seeing each other, is what she's trying to say here, Tom. She said there's a peak ceiling with a beam right down the middle, and it has a decent amount of soft vents. I don't see how placement of the gables allows any airflow through the house. And we're putting on a new roof, and I was wondering if we should put the roof vents on top of each of the three peaks. I think she's talking about ridge vents. It's a very steep pitched roof. And I've heard you say gable vents should be covered if ridge vents are being installed. I'm confused about closing off the odd place gable vents. Would you like to unconfuse her? Well, first off, let's talk about all these gable vents you have. This reminds me of a, a conversation I had with an old partner of mine. I wonder if old there are guy, seven one gables. One of my mentors. Could it be <laughs> a house of seven gables? Maybe. Uh, yeah. Those weren't really gable vents. They were gables. Oh, oh okay. Uh, but the gable vents, <laughs> the, the house of seven gables was different. Uh they used to use them for decorative reasons, too. Guys would put them all over the place. In fact, they weren't cheap. And I remember we've had house and designs come in when I was first building homes, and we would try to eliminate the these little decorative vents everywhere because, first off, they're a pain to put in and trim around. And secondly, they don't do any good. They're just there because people like the way they look. So I haven't seen all her vent pictures, but that's why sometimes you see them all in odd places because somebody thinks it's decorative and it looks good. So that probably has something to do with it. The one in the picture is a pretty standard gable vent that was used for years. The bottom line is this. When you get a new roof, go ahead and put your ridge vents on. That's, that's just what you should do. And that way the roof will be complete. Do you have to spend a lot of time covering these things up? No. I mean, there's been discussions back and forth. I just read an article the other day that was really interesting about the pros and cons and is it worth doing, doing it? Is it really worth the trouble? And the, and the bottom line was it's probably not worth the trouble unless you live in, a, like in a, a place where you have super high winds coming through all the time, like in the middle of a desert or something like that. So the, the fact of the matter is it's not a big deal. So I think to keep it simple, what I would tell you is if the vents are there, you like the way it looks, it's fine. Don't get confused about what they do. When you do put a new roof on, have the ridge vents. I, I'm looking at your, your ridge line on your picture. Go ahead and have ridge vents put on there, and it will equalize a lot of the venting, and I think you'll be just fine. Don't overthink it. Yeah. Well, and, Tom, it, maybe explain why it matters that if you're going to put the if you're going to use the soffit and ridge vents, why you don't want other venting to happen along the way. Okay. Perfect world, you're building a brand new home. You're designing it, and the roof design, like when I used to design homes, it had a purpose. It was just not a roof in the way the house looked. You always wanted to make it look good, but you would design the roof to vent. So you would design it very specifically to have soffit vents at the bottom and more than, than you do at the top, and then a ridge vent at the top. And what you wanted is undisturbed air that would slowly move to the top. Now this is a new construction. You have all the right elements. You've designed it this way. And that's, that works great because that way it's nice and even, it's very slow, and it removes all the moisture. But when you get into an older home and, and it is what it is, you don't start tearing the house apart because you think it's got to be just perfect like the other house. It wasn't designed that way. So you deal with what you have. It's like any older home is never going to be as good as a brand new home in certain aspects. But a ridge vent is good on all homes. You want as much ventilation as you can get. What a ridge vent will do in this case, it'll keep the middle from being dead air. It'll let everything move around up there. Now, if you get a strong wind and the wind blows in one side a little bit, it'll disturb that airflow a little bit, but it'll still flow out. I just don't want people to think they have to hermetically seal and get up there and do all this and think they're, oh, they look at their electric bill and say, it's the same. It's going to be about the same. So don't bother doing it all. Work with what you have. Keep things simple and your house will perform for you. But I don't even want you to put a ridge vent on unless there's a real reason to do it. And you don't sounds like you have one, like a, a problem with your with your roof until your roof needs to be replaced. I think you'll just be better off doing both at the same time. Tom will give you shoot straight advice just like that. Visit, click on that Ask Tom button at homeshowradio.com. And then we give you a choice. You can send us a written question like, you've just seen or you can actually record a video and send it to us either way fill out this form include pictures because it as you can see it helped us do a better job with the house of all those gables 
and uh, we can do the same good job for you. And we want to do a good job. We post these every day, seven days a week, at our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, of course, at homeshowradio.com.